Hey Luke, how's it going man? I just wanted to check in with you and see how things are going on your side. Uh, yeah, I really think I'm going to marry this girl. Uh, seems like it's for real this time. Good morning everyone. Today is Saturday morning and it's day two of doggy duty. Or day one, I would say, of doggy duty. Last night was okay. We slept all right. I put this on here because I don't want him to touch it. Waylon's being a good boy. I just took him on a little walk this morning and he went pee four times. So he's being good. It was like 8.30 this morning. So he lasted a while. He lasted from like 11, 8.30, yes you did. But I put this on here just in case because I don't want him scratching up Sutton's couch or anything because it's leather. Oh. That is why. <laughs> that is why. You're gonna have to be calm, buddy. I knew if I was gonna sit out here, he's gonna wanna get up on the couch next to me. So what do you think you're doing, buddy? He is just a, such a people person. He loves being next to me. Oh, look at him. Okay, you better not. That's it. Hey, he's crazy. You're a crazy dog, aren't you? So I just fed him some food and I think I'm gonna wait like 30 minutes to go take him on another little walk so he can go number two because I know I'll probably have to. I am like so exhausted. I was like up all night wide awake and I was like, I can't sleep. And then finally this morning, I was able to fall back asleep after Sutton had left for work. He got up at like 5.45 and left by like six. So I think he'll be back before like lunchtime, honestly. But and around then we'll probably take Waylon on another little w-a-l-k maybe like a longer one like a midday one just to get some energy out of him i could tell he was like a little nervous last night which I totally was expected he was anxious he is crate trained we have his crate set up over there but he didn't want to sleep in it last night um he kept like barking i would have said like okay let him just fall asleep what way that's just what dogs normally do especially when they're in an uncomfortable environment i'm not like surprised he was gonna do that whine a little bit because he doesn't know where he is and i was just gonna let him bark until he fell asleep we're in an apartment complex, so I didn't want to be like inconsiderate to a bunch of the neighbors and it was late We let him roam around the apartment last night and he was doing great We were asleep until probably 3 30 and then we had awoken to him Sprawling onto the bed and he like literally darted at us and jumped right in the middle of the bed and wanted to cuddle And then we had to give him some snugs and then tell him to go back onto the ground We're trying to not allow him up on the pouch but it's so funny because like he just wants to be right next to me <laughs> you see this like he is so funny i like laid down to go to sleep and he laid right in between my legs and like his stomach was on my stomach laying like his paws were like right on each shoulder and he just loves to be near me obviously he's in a new environment so the first person who makes him feel super comfy and like loving on him he's gonna attach to which is good that means he'll probably adjust pretty easily to being in a new home but i don't think i told you guys last night i literally felt so bad because the owners were the sweetest people ever they just like knew that he needed better which is honestly really good for them and it makes me really sad because there's so many other dogs out there that have it so much worse and like that house that he was in was amazing they gave him so much love they just kind of give him like the exercise and the extra attention that he needed as a puppy once you build an attachment with an animal it's so hard to like let them go a lot of people will just keep them even though they know that they could be getting better i know it was really really hard for them i like literally cried with the mom last night she was like i'm so sorry i'm being emotional i was like girl don't you worry i literally have been crying all week because of the thought of this entire situation it broke my heart for waylon it broke my heart for the family and i just so much i just know he's gonna be getting so much love i think i might let him out on the porch because or like sit outside he likes it out there so don't you be barking at everyone huh the environment that he was in was honestly something i had never like really seen before beautiful neighborhood beautiful little area he was in like the small town of donalega donalega in georgia very windy roads we took all back roads getting there they have an open leash law so like all the dogs just roam around they're very deep in the woods and it's like their driveway was like steep down like very steep down can't be let out without being on a leash because he runs away and doesn't find his way back and so that was a big problem for them and I was talking to her and hearing more about Waylon's story and so precious look at him he had been passed around for six months and was kind of living outdoors because nobody wanted him inside before he had the home with them for about a year because his original owner had passed away so he's been all over the place and he's just such a cuddle buddy and he's just such a sweet boy 
And I FaceTimed my mom last night and my dad and they are so excited to meet him. He is just, I'm not gonna be able to get anything done with you today, but I feel like we should get on the ground because Sutton's gonna be so mad seeing you <laughs> on the couch. We need to go get him a new little collar and everything today. I love him, I love him so much. We're playing ball with him. We only have pickle balls right now, so I, oh, he has to pee. I'm gonna play ball with him. I'm gonna take him to the park. Just get a little bit more, oh. We gotta work on that with you, buddy. Gotta get a little bit more energy out of him because I just took him on like a 30 minute walk and then I also took him on a walk right when we woke up. He just has so much energy, but I do understand it. We're in a little apartment, so I wanna give him some space to run. Let me take this off of you. Okay, there you go. Okay, you ready? You ready? Go get it, go get it. There he is. We gotta get some energy out of this boy. Yeah. Where's the ball? Let me have it, let me have it, let me have it, buddy. Oh, your goodness. Okay, you ready? Yeah, he's gonna have some energy for sure. Go get the ball. Go get it. Go get it. Come on. Such a good boy. Oh, hey, I still have it. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You crazy. Sorry, Sutton, your ball's a little dirty. Daddy, go get it. Hi everyone, so I wanted to pop in here and say thank you to the sponsor of today's video. If you guys know, Black Friday is around the corner and guys, it is like the best time of the year. Anyone who loves shopping, like this is the time for you. I wanted to share with you guys Case Five's Black Friday sale and I also wanted to show you guys some of the new products they sent over to me, one being the bounce case and two, their new phone straps. So I wanted to introduce to you guys Case Five's new bounce case. This is the most protective phone case ever. With the bounce case, you guys have one less thing to worry about. So with this new case, they have expanded corners, which simply allows your phone to bounce when you drop it and listen to this guys it is up to 21.3 feet drop test approved to top it all off there is over 2,000 prints for you guys to choose from in the bounce case now you guys are able to get the best protection for the best value with their upcoming Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales this is case Five's biggest sale of the entire year so you are not gonna want to miss it whether you guys are getting the new phone for the upcoming holidays or you're searching for one for a friend or loved one you guys better check out case Five and don't don't miss the sale because you guys aren't gonna want to. Who doesn't love saving money? I know I do. Along with all of these cases, they also have super cute new protective straps and I literally have one on my camera right now. I put it on anything I can. I have it on my phone, I have it on my camera and guys, they're so cute. Look at these. There's a case out there for everyone and if you guys don't know, they collaborate with so many different people. They have NBA case by Harry Potter, Star Wars. I'm gonna show you guys a little drop test in their new bounce case and I love it. I think the print is so cute on it and it is such a protective case. You guys are not gonna wanna miss out on this one. So you guys can go to casefy.com slash Maya to get 15% off of your order on Casefy. I will leave that here on the screen and in the description box below. And definitely make sure to look out for Casefy's Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales because that is when you guys are going to want to shop these cases and get the best deal of the year. What are you getting? Are you getting a treat? Are you being a good boy? Treat? Set. Good boy. <laughs> You get the first scoop way. He hasn't even opened it yet. That's all right. Yeah. He's crunchy, peanut butter. Ooh, what is it? Sit. You sit? Oh. Good boy. Sit. Oh. You're a good boy. A good boy. Hey, guys. Ohio State just won. H. I O. <laughs> Woo! 
We just watched the game and I then took Waylon out to go potty and now we have Waylon in the car and we're gonna go take him to this park. It's like an outdoor park with a bunch of fields and stuff. So we're gonna go play with him there for a little bit, tire him out. Cause he took a really good nap earlier. I was doing some readings for one of my classes and I was in Sutton's room cause I just couldn't focus while the game was going on and Waylon was snoozing away. He was taking a really good nap. He honestly acts better around Sutton than he does with me. Go to the grocery store and pick up some things. I think we're gonna make like a shrimp pasta dinner and we're gonna have some wine so it's gonna be great. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's been a very chill day. Um, and yeah. And yeah. We'll see you at the dog park. <laughs> Come on, buddy. He's a good boy. Yes, you are. Are you gonna bring the ball back to him? What? Oh no. You wanna play? Get the ball. Go give it to him. Go give it to him. Waylon! <laughs> what are you doing, boy? <laughs> Waylon! <gasps> Get the ball. Here's our appetizer. We made per se like salad, but on a French baguette. And we baked it in the oven and then put it in the air fryer. And it's actually cashew milk Mykonos cheese, and then the tomato, basil, and then balsamic and olive oil and salt and pepper. Hi, baby. You're so cute. Should I put some like pepper on top? Yeah. Hi, baby. I know. You're so precious. Guys, we're taking Waylon to get his first puppuccino. It is Sunday. It's 11 o'clock right now. We are getting Waylon a puppuccino and we're gonna get some coffees. And then I think we're gonna go to PetSmart. We're gonna take him on a little walk on a trail. He slept so good last night. He slept in his kennel and he was like a little restless. He did like kind of get up throughout the night. He wasn't whining throughout the night, which is good. Oh, look at him. <laughs> and when we put him down to go into his kennel, he was barking for like the first five, ten minutes. The Sutton just had to be firm with him and he listened to him. I have a feeling I'm gonna have a little bit of a difficult time doing that at school because he's gonna be in a house full of girls. I don't know, Waylon just, he listens better around Sutton. But I'm so excited to bring him back to all the friends. Thank you. Oh, you can't reach. I'm sorry, babe. I'm <laughs> taking it. Thank you. Here, if you want to give it to him. Wait. Puppy Chino. Wait. Triple almond milk macchiato. So pretty. All the dogs today. I'm in the window. <laughs> oh, did you like it? Here. Come here. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh. He's a drooler. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Have a great day. You too. You too. Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, you select. Oh, you get it everywhere. I'm Boy, gonna you are a messy eater. I'm gonna give the rest outside. <laughs> You like that boy? Oh, you're a good boy. Got him a peanut butter bone. You want it? Oh, yeah. You're a good boy. You fill up his water. We just took him to the park. It started raining, so we weren't out there long, but he got some energy out. Here you go. Waylon's asleep. It's currently like four o'clock on Sunday. Uh, I'm leaving tomorrow morning to head back to school. I don't know what's wrong with me, but my nose is so stuffy. My throat it hurts so badly and I feel like achy and tired. I don't know if it's just the weather or what's going on. I'm not feeling good. I'm sleeping. I've been doing some work on my computer for school. I'm like planning out my week to see what I have each day. And I think I'm gonna edit right now just because I don't really feel like doing much else. We have a reservation at 6.45 at Bonefish for dinner tonight. I love Bonefish. I hope I start to feel better because right now I'm not feeling good. I can't get mad at that face. He's just so cute. 
hi guys so i wanted to come in here and in the vlog i have a few updates for you guys it's currently tuesday me and Waylon got back to school yesterday on monday got back around 12 got to meet all the roommates and everything and went hung out i did have one class yesterday so i had to leave from two to three and in that time frame i want to know if any of you guys deal with this or have any familiarity or information about this type of thing because this is something we've never really had to deal with with our other dogs once before my other dog came and he had a seizure when he was a younger dog like around two and then it was just one and done um yesterday when i was gone from my class i was actually walking back from my class abby's sick so she's been hanging out with waylon they were just sleeping on the couch he was sleeping out like a light like enjoying it, everything whatever being such an angel she literally had sent me a picture like five minutes before and was like he's doing so good like we just went out to go pee and now he's taking a sleep as i'm walking home she calls me and tells me that he's having a seizure and that like literally broke my heart obviously that's not something you want to hear when you just adopt a dog and obviously i felt so bad for abby thank god her boyfriend hunter was there to help her with that because that's so scary it's one it's not her dog two she literally had just met him that day three i just adopted him like a couple days ago so i am not familiar with this and also four i'm like five hours away from home from my mom we don't have him like registered with any like vets or anything yet because obviously want to do that at home so it was just a really scary situation immediately i called miss pope because like she's my mom at school away from home and i just immediately thought of her because she has two chocolate or she had two chocolate labs lived in the area they know a lot of good like recommendations and i just like immediately called her and i was like i don't know what to do and so i'm just really grateful for like everyone that i have and everyone that was like around in this situation in the time that it happened because i literally if i was alone and had to deal with that i don't even know what i would have done i got home he's sleeping right now he's out like a light i just took him on a really long walk this morning for like a 30 minute walk on the trail and he loved it he saw so many runners and dogs and bikers and everything but now he's snoozing so i'm gonna get some homework done while he's you know sleeping but i just wanted to know if any of you guys have ever dealt with this in labs apparently it's very common to happen in labradors or retrievers he had two the second one i was laying down with him as he was recovering from the first one and he went into his second one that one didn't last nearly as long and it wasn't like as bad as the first one apparently abby and hunter were there for the second one as well it was scary i didn't really know how to handle it we gave him a spoonful of honey after but i don't know we're looking up a ton of remedies and just things to do or feed your dog or things that help with that i'm sure it definitely has a lot to do with the stress levels of going to so many different homes and environments although like he's literally attached to my hip i'm giving him all the love and attention that he wants he slept like a baby last night i let him sleep in my bed last night because i just don't want to have to deal with the kennel in the apartment but he slept so good last night i slept so good last night he's such an angel he's been such a good snuggle buddy like everyone loves him and it just broke my heart that that happened but my only like thing i think it's just because of the stress levels of switching environments and so many new people and like he was also a very isolated like covid dog so he didn't really ever have that much interaction so i definitely think that has something to play with it but yeah if you guys have any tips or suggestions on that i would love greatly appreciate all of that in the comments because it is scary and i had no idea how to handle it and now i'm just like on edge 24 7 with him until my parents get here this weekend but i'm just making sure to give him like all the love and just making it sure that he feels safe here because he is safe here i hope he feels that way look at him he's such a stinker He's just, he's so precious. Video, I hope you guys enjoyed meeting Waylon and adding him into the family. You guys are gonna get so much more content with him when I'm home for Thanksgiving and Christmas and everything like that in the summertime. I love him so much. I'm so happy we are able to find him and rescue him. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys and I will see you all very soon in my next one. Bye guys. Bye.